What's up guys, we're back with another Revit Tools video. In this video we'll be looking at the Match Type Properties tool. It's a pretty handy tool, very quick, pretty easy to use. But first an overview on families and types. So if you scroll down to the bottom of your project browser, you can see you've got different families here. And each of these families is built with different types. So for example, if I click on this door, I've got this one door selected. See, I've got door category one selected, and click on the door there. You can see that the family is called door interior single, and the type of family, or the the type, the family type, the name is flush panel three by seven. So, this family that is door interior single is built up of four different types. So you could interchange the different types of that door and it still fall into the same family. So th that's something to be aware of moving forward, especially when we use the match type properties. So looking at this now, we've got the door and maybe we want, I'm going to change this door just for this example. We'll change this to this coiling overhead door. It won't fit right there, so I'll drag it here in the middle of the wall. And Maybe for some reason we're in the middle of the project and this specific room is changing to the same function as this room. And so that means we probably want to use the same door. So I've got this door and it's again this is interior single door 3x7 and we have this interior uh, overhead coiling door here. And we want to make this door the same as that door. Well one way you can do that obviously is you can click on this door and you can like there and then change this to the specific type of door that it should be. Now maybe you have 500 doors in the project, different types and the, all different types of functions, whatever it might be, and maybe you don't want to have to deal with clicking on this door and trying to find the exact door. Or maybe you also don't want to have to see what door this is and then click on the other door you want to change and then find it there again. Well there's a better way to do all of that using the match type properties tool. So when I click on this tool. I don't have, I'm not prompted with really anything, but the first thing I'm told to do down here at the very bottom is to select an object to copy its type. And what this is going to refer to is the type, the family type. So whenever we look at this door, again we have the family and the type. So it's going to essentially look and reference this type whenever you're trying to match. So again, I will go back to the match type properties. I'm told to select an object. I'll select that object. And you can see that the paintbrush that was formerly outlined and white infilled over my mouse cursor. I'll show you that again a little bit closer. So I'll go to this type properties. So now you can see that the mouse cursor is, it has that paintbrush, which is referring to the tool match type properties. It's outlined in black and there's no infill, it's a white infill. And as soon as I click on this, door that I'd like to match, that paintbrush changed to filled is now black, which means now if I look at what I'm told to do down here, it says select an object to change its type. Or you can click an empty space to just remove that selection. So I'm going to again click that door and now I'm holding that door's type properties. Or I'm holding that door's type and now I just select the other type of door or the other door I want to change to this door. And there we get our result. It's very simple. All you're doing is clicking step one, the door you want or any element that you want to start with and copy from and use that type. And then you're going to apply that anywhere else. So what I can do is I can get kind of crazy with that. So maybe for some reason I want to change this wall. And so if I click on this wall, I can see it's like an exterior brick and I've got all these different wall types and maybe I don't want to deal with trying to look through all those different wall types to find and change a, another wall in the project. Well, if I know and I see on my screen, well, I know I want that wall, I can simply click the match type properties, choose that wall and click any other wall in the project. And you can see I, after I've done that, I still have that black infill on the paintbrush. And which means I can take that property of that first wall I've selected that is still selected in fact, and I can click any other wall and change the properties of that wall all at the same time. And it works very simply. It's very quick to go boom, 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 change the type properties from 
one to another, something that you have in the project that you know you need that's maybe right next to it or very close to it. And it's very quick and simple to match the type properties without having to go in crazy, find all of those specific elements that you might have in the project, like all these walls. I don't want to have to fish through all those walls to match another wall that I have right there next to it. So I hope you learned something. If you did, please demolish that like button. It really helps. I sure hope you did learn something because it's pretty simple and maybe give this a try. So if you enjoyed this video, maybe subscribe. It certainly helps a lot. If you like this kind of video, definitely subscribe. There's a lot more of these videos coming out. I'm going to venture into other types of Revit programs and different softwares that apply to Revit and the world of architecture. So I hope you have a wonderful day and thanks for watching.